Hey Rochester, I'm still out driving around in my fair city today, uh, checking out some of the other uh, historical sites. This is, I'm at the Plummer Estate, which is a park in our park system owned by the city. So this is ours. This belongs to us. And as you can see, I'm not sure if a tree hit the, hit the water tower here or what, but you can see that tree or no tree, this beautiful uh, architectural gem has definitely been neglected and not well taken care of. Um, this is something that belongs to us, that we're stewards of. And uh, it's in the Tudor style, like the Mayo's preferred and some of the other early physicians at Mayo preferred. But wouldn't it be great if we could set a standard of architecture or beauty for at least some parts of our city that embraced this cultural heritage that we have here in Rochester? I mean, there's pieces missing. You can see pieces missing right along here. Those block medallions or whatever those were and major damage to the to the cap of the tower and so it looks like they probably are probably planning to to do something here but it should have been done long ago you see here there's the sort of a promenade going back to the to the house itself a lot of overgrown trees just deferred maintenance all over the place so this is something that i personally feel that the city should prioritize and uh is something that we we should make one of our top priorities i was looking through the budget and i saw that Plumber House does not have a permanent uh, city staff person. Uh, they were requesting, I think, $2,000 for something. But uh, as you can see, uh, we need more like $2 million here. Uh, $2 million would probably go a long way. It looks, you know, the slate roof is going to need attention. And just a, just a real tragedy, in my opinion. Um, I don't know what else to say. This is a place that I came as a kid. Um, Kelly and I used to come up here when we were dating, we were, when we were going to Lourdes, and it was just always a really special place, and it, it needs a little more love and attention. So, all right, another mobile version of the Setting a New Course podcast. Thank you. Good day.